Hello everyone. Let me introduce to you, the operation of Q-switched ND YAG laser machine. The principle of machine is the selective photothermolysis and laser Q-switched technology. It can blast melanin, tattoo particles and other small particles instantly and avoid damaging the adjacent normal tissue. The ND YAG laser is primarily used for pigmented diseases such as age spots, sunspots, freckles, and melasma. It can also be applied to lighten pigment deposition after inflammation. Additionally, it is effective for exogenous pigment and tattoo removal, as well as skin rejuvenation. Before the treatment, we should prepare the required items in advance, including an eye shade, goggles, gloves, gauze, carbon, carbon brush, mask, and ice bag. Next we introduce the operation procedures. Firstly, the patient must sign an informed consent in form, and contraindication should be ruled out. Patients should be informed about post-operative precautions and potential issues. The subsequent step involves cleansing the patient's skin and taking a photograph before the operation to facilitate a comparison of the effects. Now we will present the carbon peeling treatment. Before the black doll treatment, we need to apply carbon gel, covering the skin color, appropriately to avoid being too thick, allowing it to dry and absorb for about 5 to 10 minutes. Both the operator and the patient should wear protective goggles and a light shielding eyeshade during this process. During the treatment, the front end of the handpiece should be perpendicular to the skin surface and always maintain a distance of approximately 3 to 5 cm between the handpiece and the skin. The patient may feel a slight needle prick on the face during the treatment. During the operation, there should be a small overlap between the light spots to avoid missing areas. The operating technique follows a sequence from inside to outside, from bottom to top, blasting the carbon gel 2 to 3 times. The treatment endpoint is when the skin appears slightly red or warm. Simultaneously, another hand assists in treating, smoothing out areas with wrinkles, such as deep wrinkles. The operator should maintain communication with the patient regarding their feelings and adjust the energy accordingly, ensure timely cleaning of the carbon gel on the handpiece. After the treatment, the face should be cleansed again. The carbon and dirt in the pores turn into tiny particles and some residue will be expelled with metabolism. Finally, apply a moisturizing mask to soothe and calm the skin. Now we will present the white doll treatment. During the treatment, the patient will feel warmth and a slight needling sensation on the face. The handpiece should be vertical to the skin surface. Always keep the handpiece within about 3 to 5 cm from the skin to avoid causing scratches. The operational technique should involve vertical or circular, scanning from bottom to top and from inside to outside. Pay attention to a slightly red skin or a warm feeling, as it indicates the treatment endpoint. The operation technique is scanning the entire face 1 to 3 times. At the same time, another hand should assist in flattening wrinkles on the skin, especially deep wrinkles. Now we present the removal of spots. The operator should perform the following steps, clean the work area, take photos, apply anesthetic and wait for 20 to 30 minutes and then clean again, disinfect the treatment area, adjust parameters, finally have the patient wear eyeshade. We should conduct a sensitivity skin test before treatment. The handpiece should be perpendicular to the target area and gently attached to the skin. Regarding frequency adjustment, we suggest using low frequency for mole removal and high frequency for tattoo removal. For the treatment of colorful tattoos, after two months of recovery, if the tattoo color remains vibrant, use the previous handpiece for treatment. If the color turns gray or black, use the 1064 nanometer handpiece for scanning. An edema-like reaction or immediate whitening is considered the endpoint reaction of the treatment. When treating thin skin areas such as the forehead, we can slightly reduce the energy. After treatment, 
Use a mask for hydration, cooling, and soothing. And then apply a thin layer of growth factor or antibiotic ointment.